Hi, I'm Milan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a clean and modern comparative column chart like this in Power BI. Let's get straight into it. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is show you that what we're working with, and it's very simple. I want to bring in my year, followed by month, and total sales. And total sales is a very simple measure, which is the sum of sales amount. Let me uh, make that bigger for you. There you go. All right. So let's go back to our measure, total sales amount. What I want to do now is create a measure that calculates last year's sales. So let's go ahead and create a new measure and call it total sales last year. And this, to do this, we will calculate total sales and use the same period last year on the date column in the date table. And I'm going to format this as a currency. Let's bring that in to check that it works. Okay, cool. That's looking good. As you can see from March 2024, we've got 373,000, which matches up over here, 373,000. We've got 506,994, 506,994. So it's all working as we expect. The next thing that I want to do is calculate the percentage difference between these two. So let's go ahead and create a new measure that does that. And this, for this, we'll use a divide function. Oops. The numerator is going to be the difference between total sales and total sales last year. And the denominator is going to be total sales last year. And we can format this. This is optional, but we can format it as a percent just to see that it's working more easily. All right, and there we go. This appears. It looks like it is working, so that's all good. But what I want to do, as you can see, if the if the percentage difference is above zero, I want to return a plus sign. That is what I want to show in the visual. So we actually need to add an an additional measure, create an additional measure that returns this as a string. So let's go ahead and do that. Call it total sales last year percent string equals. And what we're going to do here is first create a variable, let's call it symbol. And if uh, our total sales last year percent is greater than zero, then return this. The next thing that we want to do is format uh, last year diff. And the way we're going to do that is using a format string. So format on total sales last year percent. And the way we're going to format it is like this with zero decimal places. And finally, we can return this as a string. So a symbol and format diff. There we go. And we can now drag this in and check that it works. And as you can see, this is working as we expect. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to do, which is to return the max value or out of total sales or total sales last year. And this will be important when we create our visual. So let's go ahead and do that. total sales max value. And to do this, we're going to use the max function on total sales and total sales last year. And this will return the maximum out of these two. We can format this as currency. And finally, drag this in to check that this is also working. And if you have a look here, it's between 502,000. If we go down here, 737,000. Let's go a bit lower over here, 857,000 from this column here. So we can see that it is working. Okay, great. Let's, we no longer need this visual. So let's remove this. 
And now let's bring in a clustered column chart. And here's what we're going to do. Let's first bring in year and date, uh, month name, and then bring in total sales and total sales last year. Now, I only want to work with the last 12 months worth of data. So I'm going to bring in the date over here into our filter pane. The relative date will be in the last one year. There we go. All right, the next thing that I want to do is clean up the bars a little bit. As you can see, we've got total sales followed by total sales last year, but I want to reverse the order on that. So let's go over here to columns. Let's go to, let's first go to layout, add in the overlap, the overlap, uh, the space between series, let's put it up to 30%. This you can put up to as much or as little as you want, but I quite like this. We then want to reverse the order. And finally, what I want to do is have total sales on top of the total sales of last year. So let's flip the overlap. There we go. All right, we're making progress. The next thing that I want to do is come up here to series and click on total sales last year. And I want to change this. So this I'm going to use as my theme color, but I don't want it for this. So let's change it to white and give it a border, a black border. Now let's go to our total sales and change the color to our theme color, which will be this dark blue, this midnight blue. So that's already looking pretty good, but there's a few things that we still need to do to completely clean this up. The next thing that I want to do, and I do want to add data labels, but you can see that if I were to, so I only want the labels, I only want one label um, per month. So what we can do here is, you know, select a series, and take off the label for, uh, for total sales last year. But as you can see here that the labels show at the bottom on the lower chart, at the lower bar here if the change is negative and the upper bar if it's positive i want it showing at the top every single time and this is where our max value comes in so what i'm going to do now is bring in the max value over here i'm going to turn off for this series the total sales last year we already have the total sales, I'm going to turn off the numbers there. And now we're left with numbers for our max value. I'm going to change the value from total sales. And I want to bring in the string that we created. I'm going to format this string using rules. And I don't want that. Of course, I want the percentage difference. Uh, I'm going to change that to number and say if it is less than min, uh, greater than or equal to the min and less than zero. So if it's a negative number, then the bar should be red. If it's greater than or equal to zero and less than max, that should be number. Then let's bring in a green. Uh, let's use that. Okay, let's see how that looks. And as you can see here, the text is green for positive and red for negative. That is exactly what we want. But we're not done yet. So let's collapse these. Actually, the value, uh, I'm going to increase the size to 20 and make it bold. There we go. That looks a lot better. And let's go now to our total sales max value series. I'm going to increase the transparency to 100% to remove these bars. But as you can see, the number is now to the left. I don't really like that. So I'm going to go over here and drag this into the middle. And that looks a lot better. I'm happy with that. Okay. 
now that we have that out of the way, let's finish cleaning this up. Let's now go to our title and update that. I'm going to call it total sales versus last year. I'm going to increase the size of this to 24 and the text color to my theme color. Now, because we have total sales versus last year, what I now am going to do, and we've also got the labels up here, I'm now going to remove the legend. I don't feel that the legend is necessary. So let's remove that and clear that up. For the x-axis, I'm going to remove the title. And for the, I'm, I'm happy with the, the, the text size, so I'm going to leave that as it is. The y-axis, I'll do the same thing, remove the title. But I'm going to bring in the full values, like so. All right, so we're getting there. Um, there's one last thing that I want to do, which is to remove these grid lines. So let's go down here, remove those grid lines. Let's remove the vertical ones. Uh, can't really see it, but if we increase the width. These are the grid lines over here, but we definitely don't need them. So let's remove that. And there's one last thing for us to do, which is to make the edges, the corners rounded. So let's collapse all of these, go to size and style, add in a visual border, change it to 20 pixels. And finally, I want the color of this to be white. I don't want to have a black border. So let's change this to white. And there you go. This is our very clean and modern comparison chart complete. If you like this tutorial and you learned something new, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to learn more.